In this video, we will use the T-cell BDJ Beam tutorial dataset to explore the distribution of SARS-CoV-2 and flu reactive cells within gene expression clusters. We will also perform differential gene expression analysis to identify genes that are upregulated in SARS-CoV-2 reactive cells. To follow along, you must download both the C-loop and V-loop files available on the 10x Genomics public datasets page. Download links are also provided in the written tutorial and the video description below. We will start by opening up Loop Browser and clicking on the op Open Loop File button to select and load the correct C loop file. Next, we will import the corresponding V loop file to overlay beam data and VDJ data onto gene expression clusters. To do this, click on the Categories drop-down menu and select VDJ Clonotypes. Click on the hyperlink on the right side to select and import the correct VLOOP file. As you can see, all VDJ Clonotypes that were present in the VLOOP file are now listed on the right panel. The T-SNE plot has also changed. Only T-cells are now colored in blue. We are only interested in identifying cells that have high antigen specificity scores to SARS-CoV-2 and flu antigens. Let's start by filtering for cells that are specific to SARS-CoV-2. Click on the Filters drop-down menu at the bottom of the clonotype list and select Antigen Specificity. Set the antigen tab to SARS-CoV-2 and change the minimum on the range to 90. As you can see, there is one distinct group of cells on the left that passes our filters. Assign these cells to their own category by selecting all clonotypes that have passed our filter and then click Assign Selection. For this tutorial, we will call the category Antigen Specific and call this cluster of cells COVID and then hit Save. The new cluster should show up on the right panel. Repeat these steps to find flu-specific cells. Assign again to the antigen-specific category, but create a different cluster called flu. At the end of this exercise, the two newly created clusters should be visible on the right panel. Finally, we will perform differential gene expression analysis to identify genes that distinguish flu reactive cells from COVID reactive cells. Click on the Significant Feature Comparison drop-down menu and select Locally Distinguishing. This selection helps identify genes that are significantly different between the two checked groups in the selected category, as opposed to between the rest of the cells in the dataset. Leave feature type as gene, this is the default, then click the Calculate button next to this drop-down menu. After a few seconds, the feature table is populated. Click on the antigen of interest, in this case COVID, SARS-CoV-2, to view the top upregulated genes for this antigen compared to the other antigen, flu. Interleukin-7, IL7R, is the third most highly upregulated gene in COVID compared to flu-reactive T-cells, and this gene is of particular interest to us. Recent studies show that patients with milder COVID cases have higher levels of IL7RA compared to patients with severe COVID symptoms. Survivors of severe COVID illness are also shown to have elevated expression of IL7RA compared to non-survivors. As you can see, Loop Browser makes it easy to perform differential gene expression analysis on antigen reactive groups. We can quickly identify genes that are both interesting and biologically relevant without the use of command line interface.